Hello Precalculus folks, this is Mr. McAllen and this is the second video uh, with sh we're talking about leaning objects and uh, why not talk about the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Um, people have uh, studied this tower and they say that it was repaired. It used to be leaning at I think 9 degrees and after the reconstruction they got the lean down to 4 degrees. Anyway, how do you find the height of a leaning object? Because the object is no longer perpendicular to the ground. Um, you have a lean angle and we need to consider that. So um, if you're looking at the Leaning Tower of Pisa, that angle is off with the with perpendicular by four degrees. So let's just set up our triangle and you know we would normally have a, a, a side that would be perpendicular to the ground but now the tower is leaning so this dimension right here. This is the length of the tower. The lean angle is 4 degrees and they sight the top of the tower from a certain distance away as it says in the problem. They sight it about 195 feet away and um, the angle to that top of the tower is 45 degrees. <clears throat> because we know the lean angle we can figure out the second angle in the triangle and as you may have already guessed it's 86 degrees because it's a 4 degree lean that would make up the 90 degree to the perpendicular. All we have to do to find out uh, to use law of sines is we have to find that third angle. So we subtract from 180 degrees 45 which would be 135 and then we subtract the 86 which would give us um, uh, 49 degrees left over. So we're going to use law of sines and we're going to calculate L. So remember L is opposite the 45 degree angle. So L is opposite 45 and that equals the proportion of the side we do know 195 feet over the sine of its opposite angle which is 49 degrees. When we cross multiply L is equal to 195 times the sine of 45 divided by the sine of 49. We use our calculator and I'm just going to pause the video while I start the calculator so don't waste your time. So when I come back from this um, pause I'll have the answer from the graphing calculator. Okay so I'm back and the length after you use the calculator you get a 182.7 feet or you can roughly say if they ask for the to the nearest foot it would be 183 feet. Hopefully this problem has helped you and there's a problem at the end of the form that uh, would be for homework so please pay attention to this problem when they ask you to find the length of a leaning object in the form that I signed for homework. Have a good day and I look forward to hearing your comments.